Okay, welcome to a new video. Those white seats, you love them, right? Uh, it looks stunning. And what other cars have pure white seats like the Tesla? No one except uh, someone. But um, Teslas have made these pure white seats really common. They're uh, supposedly from Tesla. What they say, this is the best seat if you want the best they can provide. So they're are easier to maintain and better quality than the black one. I don't know why, because it's the same folks letter. Anyway, everything has their limitation. And limitation on the white one, you can see you get this, uh, it's almost like a stretch mark, like you can see on humans. And this is from uh, wearing blue pants. It just rubs off a little bit of color and you can actually see it like, it is like a stretch mark. That's what I'm gonna call them. Um, and so how do you remove that one? Because the seats are really easy to maintain. You just use baby wipes. And usually I'll just uh, go over with them and take off whatever dirt that's in the seat. And the bonus having a white seat is that you see the dirt. Uh, compared to black seats, you will be sitting in dirt and they will be much more filthy than you think. So in the white one, uh, as soon as you get um, some spots or streaks, you wipe them out. But after a while, you will get this. So we're gonna look at three known remedies and see how they compare up to each other by removing this, okay? So, uh, to make this fair, we're gonna uh, divide it in three sections. It's all the way from here to here. So the first one being baby wipes. It, it's good to have to clean the seats if you get anything uh, in them right there and then, but uh, right here it doesn't really make a difference. I can tell. Try to work it really hard in there, but clearly then there's nothing going on here. The second remedy we try is rubbing alcohol, uh, diluted to 70%. Don't use it any stronger because uh, it can damage stuff. And right away I can see that it helps some of those blue just gonna remove that some of those blue color is uh, going away and it's looking more even third one is the color lock for uh, artificial letter um, that's here we're gonna apply that one so I'm not gonna use the sponge the brush I'm just gonna use the same uh, pads like I used before this one just to make it even put a little bit on here Okay Then we start working that in here Has a good smell though. And from where I'm sitting, I don't see that much of a difference. Okay, so this is the color lock, and you can still see there's uh, some blue here. This is the um, rubbing alcohol, 70%. And this is the baby wipes. So, if we remove that tape. Let's see if we can spot any difference. Okay, I can see a difference. 
So this is the baby wipes. This is the rubbing alcohol and you can clearly see the um, edge from the tape. And then you see there's a dark stripe here. And this is from the color lock. Judging by what I see here, baby wipes didn't do anything. The rubbing alcohol did a lot and the color lock did almost as well, but the rubbing alcohol is probably the best. So now I'm gonna try to clean this area and using these tools with rubbing alcohol. Okay, sponge, rubbing alcohol. Still there's uh, quite a bit of blue here. You can see the line going here. This is the white and this is the blue. So yeah, it didn't do that much. Now I'm gonna try with the color lock after using the rubbing alcohol. So applying color lock cleaner. That's the color lock cleaner. Applying that. After going over uh, with both rubbing alcohol and the color lock uh, artificial cleaner, you can still see there's some blue left here. So I'm gonna go and try one more time and see how that works out. So now I've done it one more time. I've done the rubbing alcohol and the color lock artificial leather rinse and you can still see there's some blue, but maybe not, not not as much as it was. But you still see the line here. So that that's the white and this is the blue. And if you look at it in the distance, there's no more... Uh, you, you can't tell where I was marking up with the tape anymore. It's been equally cleaned without shining a bright light. Looking at it from a distance, I think it looks whiter. Uh, than it was and you can also see here you got those same marks but this is not a perfect solution so if you have any tip to what can take this uh, blue color away uh, leave a comment and maybe we should try it out because as you can see this is working to a certain point but it's not getting all of that blue out you still got a little bit blue here. If you have any solution, any kind of remedy or product that can be used uh, and you know it's working, it's not damaging the um, uh, seeds, um, leave it in the comment and we should try it out. So uh, sorry for not giving you a perfect solution to get those seeds clean. I had my doubts on uh, all of the um, appliances but I tried and this is the result.